frustrated, frightened, and angry. In East Nashville, neighbors are concerned after yet another shooting involving a teen. Good evening and welcome to News 2 at 6. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Haley Wilgus. The latest shooting left an 18-year-old seriously injured in the same block where two teenagers were shot outside of a middle school. News 2's Stephanie Langston takes a closer look at the statistics and concerns from residents. It's very frustrating. It's very scary. Two teenagers dead. 17-year-old Jalen McAdams. An 18-year-old woman. 17-year-old Rocking Hammonds. There's too many to keep up with anymore. The latest victim, 18 years old. Metro police say they found nearly 30 shell casings at the intersection of North 7th and Ramsey Street. It's very sad. It's all sad. The shooting within the same block where two teens were killed less than two weeks ago. In Nashville, there's so many people suffering from loss. And the statistics prove it, specifically when it comes to juveniles and gun violence. Metro police data showing the number of gunshot victims between the ages of 13 and 17 years old at seven compared to four at this time at last year. And that's a 75% increase. It's a lot of, of adolescent on adolescent crime, for sure. From the victims to the shooters. 15-year-old James Johnson. The teenage suspect. 18-year-old Rico Doss. The big question is, where are the children getting the guns? These East Nashville residents are exhausted by the reports while pleading for solutions. We just want some gun control on these high-capacity weapons and high-capacity magazines and clips. I'm very frustrated that it's taking so much to get anybody to even think about gun control and this notion that it's not the guns. I don't know what people are thinking. People are asking what is the solution and more than anything I think we have to love our children and until we love our children, until we really want to protect them, this isn't going to stop and it means changing hearts. Reporting from East Nashville, Stephanie Langston, News 2.